Hi there, thanks for uh, checking out our repair channel. Um, this isn't necessarily going to be how to fix or repair one of these uh, scales. Uh, these are sometimes these scales and low bars on these livestock systems are um, uh, tedious to say the least and kind of a pain in the neck uh, to get into and fix them and stuff. So they, and they take a, a bit more time than electric fence boxes do. So most times I don't really make videos on on how to fix one of these scale things. Uh, I usually just do a video of one after we've fixed it. And then uh, that way we can make a video and talk to you about it and show you what how one works and stuff the best that we can. And then if you got one of these scales and then, hey, this guy works on them, you know, you can send them to a place like me and we'll work on them for you. Um, but if you want to check out our, our website, we've got two websites. Uh, the first one is CattleScaleRepair.com. There's all my information there uh, where you can send things to. But I'll put a link down in the description. We also work in electric fence equipment. There's our website right there. Uh, stupid thing, focus. It's uh, fencerfixer.com, but there, there will be a uh, description thing uh, down at the bottom there. But we work on a lot of cattle scales and uh, uh, lot, livestock little bars and stuff for weighing cattle and other animals and stuff. And most scales of any kind really are about the same of how they operate and how they work. So any big scale or small scale, as long as you know how a scale works and how to troubleshoot one, they're almost all the same. Whether you're trying to weigh a uh, semi-truck or a group scale that weighs like, you know, a dozen cattle at a time, um, or, a, you know, a, live, a squeeze chute low bar, or an alleyway platform type low bar. Um, they're all the same in how you work on them and stuff. There's just different ones are uh, wired differently or um, mounted differently under the system. But anyways, this is a, um, this model here is a, it's made by a company called Reliable Scale Corporation. They're made in Canada. Um, they, this is about a 20 year old scale. They don't make this particular model anymore. They make a model 500G, 500S, or I don't know, 500 something. It's a, it's a lot newer. This has got an LCD. The other one's an LCD, but it's got like a backlight where it's kind of green and lights up where you can see it real good. But, uh, it's made here in North America, which is kind of nice. Um, pretty neat scale, pretty durable, um, uh, scale. That's about 20 year old scale. And this, the guy that owns this says this was the first time it ever quit on them. Uh, it's been, it's been broke for probably six months sometime back in the summer and, uh, just never got around to getting it fixed. And then now he's needing it. And then, so he sent it us about a week or two ago, sent this to us to work on. So, but we went through it, got it going again and stuff. Um, uh, so if you've got a scale needs we worked on, uh, we're happy to work on it for you. So, We'll power it up real quick and, and show it to you. I guess it does have a green back. I thought it was, uh, let me turn my light on real quick. Maybe, oh, it is green back, back. I thought it was, I guess I had my light on earlier. And it was gray, but uh, this has a zero. Uh, it does kilograms. It's this really user friendly. I mean, everything's on here that you need to do. I mean, you need to switch between kilograms and pounds. There's a button right there and it changed right up there. There's kilograms, there's pounds. Um, it's like there's like gross weight, net weight, that kind of stuff. There's tear, what the hell that means. Uh, oh, I think tear and zero uh, do the same thing. Uh, the one reason why I talked to manufacturer about this, I said, this thing acting right? Because it's even without, because I don't need low bars hooked up to it. Low bars hook up uh, down here. And this also can hook up to a computer old style, you know, like the nine pin and stuff uh serial port serial cables but um to so download data and stuff but i asked the manufacturer so why is this thing going all over the place numbers are climbing going every which way and uh see it keeps climbing or falling and um he said uh because it's not hooked up to us uh any load bars that it can't act squirrely like this i'm like okay so I was a little leery there might be something going on with it still, but luckily it it uh, he said it should be fine. Um, so pretty, uh, it's got some says where you can get your reports on, so you can download stuff. You also can um, print things. I guess you can hook up one of those serial port printers and it'll print off a little sheet of paper or some information on there. Um, I don't know a lot about this because I don't have a manual on it. Um, this is a um, 
is not legal for trade. A lot of livestock scales uh, are like that. They're not legal for trade, which I can't remember exactly what that means, but it's something to do with um, cattle and selling them and stuff like that. So it's something to do with that. So uh, there are scales out there that are legal for trade, but a good portion of them, like Gallagher's, True Test, this brand, Reliable Scale Corporation, and then uh, Digistar and people like that. There, a lot of those are not uh, uh, legal for trade. There are they are out there. Just most of the brands that make these livestock scales, uh, these low bars and stuff, uh, they are not. But there are a few brands out there that do. I just can't. Maybe Avery Waytronics. They probably got scales. Uh, Central City scales probably in out of Nebraska. They probably got scales that are legal for trade. And then uh, Rice Lakes, another brand out there that sell little bars and scales of uh, different things. And I'm sure they've got a, they're pretty big outfits. I'm sure they've got scales that are uh, legal for trade, but unfortunately this one's not. But for the everyday producer and uh, everyday user of stuff, that's not nothing you really worry about. So, but um, yeah, if you've got a, you know, a way scale needs to be worked on, we, these are the brands we do work on. But, uh, you know, we work in other brands. There's, this is a brand I've even heard of before, but uh, luckily we, we fixed it and got the thing going for the guy. So we can work in other brands. It's just this one I've never heard of. So um, turn it back on real quick. Uh, this is just a brand I never heard of, but luckily we still fixed it for the guy. So, but if you got a scale need to be worked on, uh, give us a call and all the information is on the website. I will put links down in the description down below, but um, hit the thumbs up button if you like the video, and uh, subscribe to our channel. We appreciate it. Any of that you know stuff helps us out. And uh, if you've got a scale that needs to be worked on or electric fence box of any kind that needs to be worked on, don't throw it away. Just box it up, send it here. We'll be happy to take a peek at it for you. We're free quotes and and a year and a half warranties on everything that we work on. So uh, we stand behind everything that we do. Uh, we're just an independent mom and pop shop. But until we do another video of how one works and or how to fix one, uh, we will see you guys later on.